I want to take a moment to talk about the development of Cushing Square in Belmont over the last 10 to 15 years. I actually grew up in walking distance to the square by the Chenery Middle School. And in the mid-90s uh, to early 2000s, it was a very different place than it is today. There's been a huge influx of business and development propositions that have really changed the dynamic. Uh, you know, back in the day, we had a Friendly's right, right where Starbucks is. You know, if you recognize the old Friendly-shaped buildings, it's now a Starbucks. Um, Brothers Pizza was, you know, is now Mark and Tony's. And the Hollinsworth 5 and 10 was formerly Ben Franklin that my mother grew up going to. So obviously, there's been some significant changes there in the last couple of years. Um, we've gotten a great fine dining restaurant in Savino's Grill, which I highly recommend. And the Spirited Gourmet came in. They had a branch in Winchester before moving it to Belmont, where you can get high-end liqueurs and wines and sandwiches and stuff along those lines. Um, but now we have the basically what was Cushing Village. It was supposed to be started in 2015, and the pro project ended up getting sold, so we'll have to see when this development takes place. But basically where the old CVS was along Belmont Street down to Trapello Road and over to the end of Cushing Square is all going to be a mixed-use development eventually. We don't know when now, but it plans on bringing a lot of units, parking, uh, a grocer, kind of like what Foodies is going to be in uh, Belmont Center. So over the years, this is going to transform dramatically into a really urban city center that's going to increase property values and provide better public transportation back to, uh, to Harvard Square in Boston. So there's a lot of great things going on. There's also a lot of boutique shops that you should definitely check out. Uh, Aram's Coffee, Teddy's Kitchen are also great breakfast places, Olin's Bakery, um, when it gets back up and running after the gas explosion, uh, where fortunately no one was injured, that's an amazing spot too. So you have all these businesses that have been there for a very long time that are supporting this industry, and now the demand for walking plazas and convenient shopping is really deriving value up in the area. So I highly recommend heading out to dinner in Cushing Square or checking out some shopping. Uh, it's a great place.